walks on me, that talks on me, yeah On me, on me, on me, on me When you see him, yeah, you see on me When you walk by, that walks on me, that talks on me, that's the What's up, y'all? So I'm back with another video. If you didn't check my other video out about my celebration of my birthday, make sure you go check it out. You know, show love. Let me know if you comment or not. But, um, um, so this video here is it's a story time. I'm trying to think of the story. I just had it. But it's a story time or whatever. But, um, um, it might be two in one, two story times in one video. I don't know yet. So, um, okay, so, no, it's not two story times, just one story time in this one, in this video. So, one day, I was um going to Walmart or whatever. I forgot what day it was. Whatever, whatever. So, I was going to Walmart or whatever. So, I'm walking in the door, right? And how I remember this story time, because I got a blue shirt on. and But, like, I had words on it. It says slay. You know, how you say slay, bleak, and all that. You know, them old slang words we used to use. But, um, anyways. I had a blue shirt on, but it wasn't like this though. It was like, like t-shirt. And I'm coming in the door in Walmart, and this man—I don't know if he was white or black. Not trying to be racist or nothing, but I don't know. I don't know who he was, but he just come out of nowhere, talking about what do that mean on your shirt? I'm coming in the door, looking like, who are you? He talking about what is that on your shirt? What do that say on your shirt? I think that's what he said. He said, "What's that? What that say on your shirt?" And I'm looking at him. It says "slay," but I think he was looking at my titties because, like, my hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I had to let my dog out. or Whatever. But um, like I was saying, um, I walked in the store or whatever. And he come up to me. He look, talking about what do that mean on your shirt? I'm looking like slay. He like, what do it mean? I'm looking like, get the fuck out of my face. I don't even know who the fuck you are. Get the fuck out of my face. And I'm looking like, why is he worrying about what they say on my shirt? Like, like, back the fuck up. But I think he was looking at my boobs. Like, I can't help. My, I, I think everybody said I had big boobs. But to me, they're on my body. It feels small to me. But... I'm like, what the fuck is here all in my business and shit like that? Like, the fuck? I was like, why is he worrying about what's on my shirt, what it says? Like, dude, you didn't buy it. Why you worrying about what's on my shirt? Did you buy it? Did you give me money for it? Did you do anything for me? No. So don't worry about what's on my shirt so yeah so that happened to me in walmart then something else happened so um i was walking around that day a lot of people came up to me i don't know what it was up with me that day but it was another person came up to me or whatever this one man he come up to me and um what did he say i had my hair did i have it flatter or um I'm trying to think did i have it flatter like this or did i have it curly i can't remember because it's been a long time ago but i was in my early 20s I think it was flat iron or whatever. Yeah, I think it was flat iron. But, um, I'm brushing my hair, y'all, because my scalp is itching. So, yeah, that's why I'm brushing it. But, um, but 
like I was saying, this, um, it was another man. I don't know what's up with these men. Like, I understand us young girls be pretty to y'all and stuff like that, but y'all be, y'all, y'all can't be coming up to people saying weird stuff. Like, what's that on your shirt? Like, nigga, you making me giving me rapist vibes. Like, I, I come straight in the door. He comes straight towards my way. I'm like, hold up, nigga. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Give me, give me, give me, give me 10 feet back. You know? So, um, that what happened. Or oh, whatever. Um, my nose is not running. It's just stuff here, whatever. So, um, so the second guy... He come up, he like, oh, he said, your hair is pretty. I was like, thank you. And he was like, is that your real hair? I hate when somebody asks me. I understand. If you can't tell the difference of real hair and fake hair, nigga, you need to go back to school. Like, go back to fucking school. Like, do you see this hair? Do y'all see this hair? Do it look fake to y'all? Or do it look real? Like, come on now. Not trying to be disrespectful or be rude for girls that do got wigs and, you know, all that. I don't mind. Like, I never wear a wig or weave. None of that. I always had my long hair. Because my, my hair is long as fuck. And I'm high nature. I don't need more hair to put on top of my hair that I got now. That's too much. But, like I said, no disrespect. Nothing like that. But, anyways. Um... He was like, is that your real hair? I'm looking at him. I was already irritated with the first guy. Talking about what that's on your shirt. What do that mean? Why is you questioning me about my damn shirt? What the fuck I got on? Like, nigga, keep going. We don't even know each other. Why the fuck are you talking to me? Shut the fuck up. So, and I'm looking at him. And I was like, huh? And he was like, is that your real hair? I said... Duh, is my fucking real hair. And he was like, oh. He said, you know, he said, it don't even look like it's yours. Y'all you, just don't know how bad I wanted to slap the shit out of him. And I'm looking like, dude, you need to, I don't know if you got a wife or a girlfriend, whatever, sneaky link, a hoe, a side hoe, whatever. You, you need to, how you don't know what real hair is and what real hair look like? Like, come on now, y'all gotta, this is my real hair for the last time. I do not wear wigs, weave, stenchions, whatever the fuck they got out there. I don't wear that. So, this is my real hair. So, after that... You know, I told him it's my real hair or whatever. He said he kept talking. I walked away from him. Kept going. So, I'm walking around the store. I guess today was like, that day was irritate me. Irritate the fuck out of me. Because I was over it that day. So, I'm walking around or whatever. And... And then it was another man. He didn't come up to me. He didn't say nothing to me or whatever. But he was giving me creepy vibes. Like he looked like he was trying to steal something or whatever. So um I walked past him. He was looking you know how somebody looks strange or look like they about to do something. So that's what he looked like he was about to do. So he walked past me. He was looking at me. I'm like, You looking at it? I'm making a face at him. And he was looking like scared and shit like I might do something to him because you're looking at me what well, you're looking at me for I'm walking trying to go where I need to go so and then I was like when I saw his face like he was holding like you know how you put the jacket on you holding like this but he like he was holding something in his jacket hey if you're still in book it ain't none of my business that's your problem not mine hey do you <laughs> So, yeah. So, I was like, 
And then my mom, she was coming down, like, the jewelry out at Walmart. Because I was coming, like, the beauty, the beauty or bath stuff was at. So, she was coming this way. I was coming this way. So, she was like, you okay? I said, I'm ready to get up the hell up out of Walmart. I said, it's too much going on for me. She's like, what's wrong? I said, first, I come in. A guy talking about what that said on your shirt. It says slay, and then another man talking about, oh, your hair is pretty. Is that your real hair? And I'm looking at him like, the fuck are you talking about? Yes, is this my real hair? And then another weirdo walking around the store looking very suspicious. Like, what the hell is wrong with these niggas out here? Like, y'all be on that weird shit. Like, y'all talking about us females. Y'all need... And it was grown men. Like... I don't want no sugar daddy. Don't be talking to me. Like, the fuck? Even though I was single way back then. But I didn't want no damn sugar daddy. So, after that, we went to, I think we went to another store. Or whatever. Because my mom, I think my mom was trying to find some stuff. I can't remember. We was in there for something. But we went to another store, and then this woman, she was nice or whatever, and she was like, your hair is so pretty. She's like, I be trying to tell my niece that she need to do something to her hair, blah, 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 and stuff like that. She's like, what do you put in your hair and stuff? I said, I use all kind of stuff, like, that was good for my hair, and I told her, what I put in it that day. And she was like, oh, okay, it's pretty, and stuff like that. And I said, thank you. I appreciate you. She's like, you're welcome. She's like, you have a nice day or whatever. And I said, you too, girl. So, um, um, I don't know what story was that when she, when she gave me a compliment. And then, like, I'm trying to think. Was it something else that happened that day? I'm trying to think. I can't remember. But those two men, well, three men, that, that lady, she made my my day she made it better because the first three men that i met at, saw well i haven't met i don't know them but saw at walmart they really messed, messed up my day like i was like over it like i just wanted to go home after that so yeah and it's like crazy and stuff like that so i don't know what the hell was up in the air that day, I don't know what was wrong with them. Asking these dumbass questions, but um, yeah, this is my little story time about me, people coming to me and stuff. Like I'm not mean in person, but when you come to me asking me a dumbass question, like I kn I know he knew what that word say on my shirt. Like, you was looking at my boobs, nigga, like, stop the fucking cat. Talking about, what that mean? And he was pouring at my shirt. Move your little nasty hands out my face and back the fuck up. So, yeah, y'all. So, oh, and when, um, let me, let me tell you something funny before I end this video. So, I think this is the same day. It was. <laughs> I think this is the same day that I went to Walmart and it was raining. Or it might be a different day. I don't know. But I'm going to still tell it anyway. So this is a second story time in one video. So um, I went to Walmart. It was raining though. But I was inside, but I was coming out of Walmart, right? And I was pushing the buggy. 
I was pushing the buggy. This is why I don't wear slides when it's raining outside. So <laughs> I was with my mama. It was just me and my mama. <laughs> oh my god! I was pushing the buggy, and then my shoes, the the slot, the slides that <laughs> that I had on my foot. They was it was raining outside, so the slides my feet was wet in the slides. So I'm pushing the buggy. I'm trying to get my foot and everything right. Tell me. <laughs> stop laughing and tell me why i'm trying to push i'm pushing the buggy <laughs> my shoe keep my, my foot <laughs> my shoe keep up my foot and <laughs> my other shoe was on my foot my left shoe was on my foot but my right shoe wasn't on my foot so i'm pushing the buggy and i didn't notice that my shoe came off so <laughs> So I'm pushing the buggy and I fell down on my knees and I'm still holding on to the buggy. Like I'm pushing the buggy with my knees. And, and I, <laughs> then I turned my mama turned around. She was like, what are you doing? Why did you on the ground? <laughs> I was like, I was trying to get my shoe, but I was trying to hold on to the buggy because I didn't want the buggy to hit a car. So <laughs> So I'm pushing a buggy and I'm on the ground with my knees. My knees were scraping on the road. So yeah, my knees were bleeding and everything. <laughs> I was laughing. I was like, what the world? Mama said, are you okay? <laughs> She was like, are you okay? She was on the phone. She was not stunning me. She was walking. She looked behind me. She saw me on the ground. She said, <laughs> she's like, Larissa, how the hell did you get on the ground? I was like, I was trying to grab my shoe. And I was holding a buggy. I was holding it. It wasn't moving until I felt it moving. I was like, oh, stop. Let me hold it. And so I turned her back around and hold it. And I was going down. <laughs> My foot on my other shoe was sliding. Like, I was trying to get my feet together, and I was trying to, I was holding the buggy, trying to get my feet, this feet together, and trying to get my other shoes so I could put on my other foot. I could do all that at one time, so I was trying to multitask. But that shit didn't work out. Just as you can see, I was sliding down the road. <laughs> oh my God. And my mama said, You okay? I was too busy laughing, bro. I was dying laughing at myself. And then later on, my legs were hurting because, <laughs> girl, I feel like, I don't know what I was thinking that day. We didn't have too much in the buggy. That's why. Like, we had bags and stuff. It wasn't, like, heavy stuff. So, and then my mom talking about, let me get off the phone. I need to help Clarissa because she, she over here. <laughs> I don't know what she doing. So, my mom got off the phone. She helped me. She helped me get up. And I put my shoe on after that. And then I had shorts on that day. I think it was hot that day. But it was raining. So, it was sunny and raining. But I had shorts on that day. And... Girl, my knees was messed up. Both of my knees. <laughs> like I was sliding by sliding and like I was praying on the ground. <laughs> like, oh my God. I was like, what the world? What is wrong with me? So yeah, that's what happened to me. That was, that was funny. And so that's why I don't wear slides when it's raining. When it's raining, I don't like going out anyway because people don't know how to drive when it's raining. And then, then my feet, my feet be cold. I don't like my feet to be cold. Like right now, I got socks on. Oh, excuse me. And um, yeah, that.
<laughs> I got so many story times to tell y'all, y'all. It don't make no sense. Y'all be like, Carissa, what the fuck is really wrong with you, girl? I don't know, girl. <laughs> I don't know, but I wanted to put that in there so y'all can have a little, a little laugh or whatever. So, um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on or whatever. I need to go take my allergy medicine so y'all can be, you know, ready or whatever. For the next video i don't know if i'm gonna make another video but make sure you like comment subscribe and share this out to everybody and everything so yeah bye gotta let this out let you know situation getting harder i'm sorry i had to dip got me falling out of love now i'm stressing over a bitch got me smoking all these drugs i be rolling it out the zip like